In this realm, magic users wield spells of great power, and among the various magical enhancements, spell damage increase, SDI, is pivotal. It enhances spell potency, crucial for mages aiming to maximize their offensive capabilities and excel in player versus environment, PvE, combat. Spell damage increase directly augments the damage inflicted by spells. This percentage-based increase adds to the spell's base damage, significantly amplifying its impact. For instance, a spell with a base damage of 100 points and a 20% spell damage increase would inflict 120 points of damage. Spell damage stacks with other modifiers and can be acquired through magical items, armor pieces, and jewelry imbued with spell damage increase properties, as well as skills and spells that temporarily boost spell damage. There is no cap on spell damage increase for PvE. Spells from various schools of magic, such as spell weaving, mysticism, and necromancy, all benefit from spell damage increase, enhancing their effectiveness. Players can acquire spell damage increase items through various means. Many magical items and artifacts scattered across the world possess inherent spell damage increase properties. Items like rings, bracelets, and specific armors offer substantial spell damage boosts. Legendary artifacts obtained from challenging dungeons or formidable bosses provide the highest bonuses. Certain spellbooks, crafted by skilled scribes or found as loot from powerful adversaries, also enhance spell damage while offering additional benefits like faster casting or mana regeneration. Character skills and abilities further enhance spell damage temporarily. For example, the inscription skill not only allows mages to craft spellbooks but also provides passive spell damage increase at certain skill milestones. Spells such as Arcane Empowerment or Reaper Form provide significant boosts to spell damage, proving invaluable in critical combat scenarios. The most potent spell damage increase bonuses come from a range of items across different equipment slots. Notable examples include the Scholar's Halo offering 15% spell damage increase for headgear, Cuffs of the Archmage providing 20% spell damage increase for arms, and the Crystalline Ring or Compassion's Eye offering 20% spell damage increase as rings. Hook's Shield has 10% spell damage increase, and spellbooks like the Scrapper's Compendium provide up to 25% spell damage increase. Combining these items allows mages to achieve formidable levels of spell damage increase. Calculating spell damage involves multiple factors. The character's skill level in evaluating intelligence directly impacts magery spell damage, while spirit speak affects necromancy spells, and focus or imbuing influences mysticism spells. Arcane focus affects spell weaving spells. Intelligence also plays a crucial role, increasing spell damage by 1% for every 10 points of intelligence. Casting bless on a character can potentially raise it to 150, the maximum which gives 15% spell damage increase. Gargoyle's Berserk ability can boost spell damage increase by up to 12%. The Guild of Arcane Arts Trade Deal City buff adds 5% spell damage increase. Grandmaster Inscription skill provides a 10% base damage increase for certain offensive magery spells, such as Energy Bolt, Explosion, Chain Lightning, Flame Strike, and Meteor Swarm. The Inscription bonus also applies to certain mysticism spells, such as Nether Bolt, Eagle Strike, Bombard, Spell Plague, Hailstorm, and Nether Cyclone. Other factors influencing spell damage include items like Slayer Spellbooks, as well as temporary buffs like the Spell Focusing Sash, Summer Dragonfish Pie, plus 5 spell damage increase, and Grapes of Wrath, plus 15 spell damage increase. Slayer Spellbooks do double or triple spell damage to the Slayer group and are effective with Magery and Mysticism spells but not Spell Weaving. Combining spell damage increase with a Slayer spellbook while casting a Mysticism Area of Effect spell such as Hailstorm or Nether Cyclone can create devastation on the battlefield. The Provocation Bard Mastery spell song, Inspire, can also increase spell damage by up to 15%. Powerful debuffs such as Discordance or Necromancy's Evil Omen or Corpse Skin and Majory's Curse can significantly amplify damage inflicted on targets. Different spells deal various types of elemental damage. Physical, fire, cold, poison, and energy. Each type of damage interacts with corresponding enemy resistances. For example, fire damage from a spell like Flamestrike is reduced by the target's fire resistance. 
Understanding these interactions is crucial for maximizing spell effectiveness. Damage calculation involves the spell's base damage, the caster skill level, and the target's resistance. If an enemy has high resistance to a particular element, like cold, spells dealing cold damage will be less effective. Conversely, targeting an enemy's weakness, such as using fire damage on an ice elemental, can lead to greater success in battle. Mages can boost their spell's effectiveness by targeting an enemy's weakest elemental resistance and selecting the corresponding elemental damage type spell, or by using spells to lower an enemy's resistances first, such as Necromancy's Corpse Skin, which reduces the target's fire and poison resistance. There are also mobility and crowd control spells, such as those that stun, freeze, or slow opponents, which offer critical opportunities to unleash spell damage, increase boosted attacks while avoiding counterattacks. In PvE, adapting to the enemy's resistances and strategically choosing spells can turn the tide of combat, making knowledge and adaptability key components of a mage's power. While maximizing spell damage increase, Mages must also consider their survivability. High spell damage often means sacrificing defensive capabilities as item slots are filled, necessitating a balance between offense and defense. Equipping items that provide both spell damage increase and defensive bonuses, such as high resistances or hit point increases, helps maintain this equilibrium. Another important factor to consider is that most items with spell damage increase typically cost a million gold or more if they are purchased. Although a scrapper's compendium is usually not very expensive, this can make acquiring them challenging, potentially requiring extensive gold farming instead of enjoying the game. Balancing the desire for high spell damage increase with other beneficial attributes like luck also becomes increasingly difficult. Personally, I aim for a moderate level of both luck and spell damage increase, and not attempt to acquire all the best items. Spell damage increase remains a cornerstone of mage gameplay in Ultima Online, empowering mages to amplify spell potency and excel in PvE encounters. Through meticulous equipment selection, strategic use of skills and abilities, and a balanced approach to combat dynamics, Mages can fully exploit spell damage increases potential to become a formidable arcane force.